Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and the quilt behind me is a true scrappy quilt. What makes it a scrappy quilt is, well, just that. You get to use up all of your scraps regardless if you think they're going to match. Now this quilt was worked on by at least four different women because you can tell by the hand stitching and I've named it after my grandmother who would never have seen a scrap go to waste named Margaret. Let's make a true scrappy quilt. None of the patches match. The only thing that matches is the size. Two inches by three and a half inches. So whenever you finish a project, you just need to take all the scraps and cut them to two inches by three and a half inches. So an easy way to cut them all together is to have them all pressed and try to have two edges that are the straightest out of the pile. And then from there, just match up the edges. And they don't have to be exact because you're going to be trimming them. So I will just keep using this corner and place them as close as I can to that corner. And I'm not worried about the edges because they will just be discarded. Just keep piling on the one corner. And it doesn't matter the shape. Just have the corner and stack up about four to six layers, whatever you feel comfortable cutting. So once I have the stack done, I'm going to just straighten one edge. And I'm going to take a peek and make sure that all of my fabric edges are on the outside so that they will be trimmed off. The next edge to straighten is the other edge that you were following, that corner. So line it up on your ruler, make sure all of the pieces of fabric are sticking out and straighten it up. Now I have two corners that are nice and straight. From there, I'm going to be able to cut two inch strips and then take the two inch strips and cut them into three and a half inch pieces. And once you have them all cut up, you're going to be able to go through and you will see which ones have made the cut and just put them in a bin and you will just be able to see as you go along which pieces are going to make it and which are not. And when you have all your strips cut, toss them up. Now when you go to the sewing machine, the hardest part is going to be try not to match them up. So take your two pieces, match up right sides together, and sew a quarter inch along the long side. And you'll basically keep going until you're done the whole basket. So when the two pieces are sewn together, just with your fingers, you don't need to do this with an iron, just press the seams towards the dark side. And I do this right at the machine. So I'm going to have two pieces, then I'm going to take the next two pieces and I'm going to put them together. So the pieces are going to go lengthwise and widthwise because when you sew the two pieces together at two inches, it will equal three and a half inches, which is the length. So those two will go together and stitch down. So now you're going to have a whole stack that looks like this. And with that, you'll make another block. You'll just take it and twist it, and they will go together. So you're not going to have a seam matching up here. None of the seams around the outside are going to match, just the center. So when you have the eight pieces sewn together, it should equal six and a half inches. From there, you're going to be able to sew them together in long rows. Now, as you're sewing them together, you might find that you have some blocks that are going in opposite directions. And when you go to put them together, the opposites are not going to be the here. They seem to want to match. Well, instead of having to take this block apart, you're just going to take another block that you've already sewn with your four pieces and you will sew it in between as you do your rows. And when the next row matches, it's going to match up fine. And you're just going to keep sewing them together until you get to the size that you want. The whole key is to make sure that the strips are not matching up. What's really nice about this is you can use any fabric, even if they don't match, because the overall effect will just be a scrappy 
old-fashioned looking quilt. Now, if you don't like scrappy, you can make this in a controlled color setting. This had six fabrics, three solids, and three prints, and it was strip pieced. So no matter which way you do it, it's a fun and quick quilt. Now, if you like the idea of a scrappy quilt, and maybe you don't have enough scraps to make a scrappy quilt, it's a good opportunity to get together with your friends. Sit around a circle, put all of your two by three and a half inch strips in the center, mix them up, and everybody draw from the center. Now that would be a fun scrappy quilt. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe, and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.